So there's a term in biology called bioavailability. And it's really important to get to that step. You can put something in a pill and you can take it, but does it really do anything to you? You can drink a glass of orange juice, but does it really do anything? You can swallow a vitamin, but does it really do anything? I mean, if you think about it, most of us walk around through our lives and we take a vitamin every day just in case because there aren't too many studies that tell us, well, if you take this one hour later, your such and such level will change. We wanted to look at Sozo in a way that could give us a vision of where to go with our research. So we decided to do this acute clinical case discovery study. It's not a long 90-day study that shows some structural change in the human body. The purpose of this study was simply to have people not eat from midnight till the time they came to the lab in the morning so they would come in a fasted condition. Their metabolism had settled down. We would draw some blood and then we would give them a dose of sozo, a three ounce dose. Or we would give them comparable dose of a placebo. You know, once we had completed the formulation of this product, we knew, uh, based on experience with futraceuticals and the raw materials that we were using, especially the coffee berry, that we were going to have an extremely high ORAC on this finished goods product. In other words, our antioxidants were going to be off the charts. We knew that. But at the same time, there's a lot of nutritional products in the marketplace that have a, a good ORAC. But the question is, once you open that product up and you consume that product, does it survive the gut? Do those nutrients survive the gut, get into the bloodstream? In other words, is it, in other words, is it bioavailable entering in the bloodstream? And it's interesting because neither the people who were ingesting nor the people who were administering knew whether they were participating in the sozo leg or in the placebo leg. That's called a double blind. So it's double blind, placebo controlled. As soon as they ingested the material, then every half hour for four hours was another blood draw. And so then our biology team later could prepare the serum from both groups, all the sera, and run a series of analyses to see which of dozens of blood markers were being affected. And then it took some months because it literally generated some thousands of samples. If you take all these people over the course of every half hour and then you're running all these tests for all these different blood markers and you run it in triplicate in order to have a high degree of accuracy, it runs into a lot of testing. So we, we did exhausting testing on this. And we're pleased to say that we got some pretty exciting results. We're, we're very pleased that in five biomarkers, we saw a statistically significant change and it was statistically significant over the placebo. For an initial study, that was uh, very impressive to us.